All right, so I thought that since, hi, it's me. I thought that since we were doing videos for this class, we'll do video announcements as well. Um, so I'm here with adorable internet cat. He's trying to bite me right now. Oh, come on, say hi. Oh, there you are. Do you see everyone can see you? All right, um, so what's going on this week? Uh, still a lot of things we're sorting out, so let's start at the top here. So. Uh, number one thing, our logistics for tomorrow's activity section. So the 4 p.m. section met in Burt's last week. We brought you down there from the classroom, but we just want you to meet down there tomorrow. The 9 a.m. section, uh, we're going to meet in Burt's cafeteria. Uh, I don't exactly know how to explain how to get there, but you might already know where it is. Um, if you know where it is, please just come there. Otherwise, Andy will meet you in Alumni 97 and bring, you know, whoever's uh, gone there down to Burt's. But Burt's is um, closer than Alumni 97, and this is going to be a great place for us to hold these type of uh, activity sections. So it's going to be ideal. Um, tonight, you're going to get another email putting you into a random group with other students from your section. This time, rather than sort of meeting around the periphery of the room, what we've done is we put together a floor map. So let me show you that. Uh, here's the Burt's floor map. It's uh, fairly intricate. Uh, the numbering starts up here in the corner and sort of wraps around like this. Uh, we've tried to put um, groups into tables where you can be serviced by a TA. So these green dots are, in theory, the TAs will be assigned to you. So you can see there's like four groups here, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, 52, so for the 4 p.m. section, we actually have something like 86 groups. There's a huge number of you. So here's what we're going to do. Groups 1 through 52 are going to meet in the lower part of Burt's, which is confusingly at the top of the map. Um, but you're going to meet there and sit in the table that's assigned. So these groups over here are actually tables. Uh, these are tables, obviously. So please find the table with your group number uh, on it on this map. Go there and meet up with your group. The other groups are going to be down in the uh, upper part or the lower part of the map, but the upper part of Burt's. This is the main door. Um, there are, I've sort of clustered you here so that um, you can find a TA that's assigned to you, find members of your group, and then you guys will just sort of filter out into this uh, upper, upper part of Burt's and find a table to work at. Uh, the upper part of Burt's is sort of still in use at 4 p.m., so this is the way we want to do it. But if you're in group 53 plus, uh, your floating seating, find your group according to this map, and then find a table to work at. This also means that if you're in one of these groups, it's really important that you come to class on time, because if you come late, you're going to have to search this large space for the group uh, with your number. Um, so groups 1 through 52, sit where you're assigned here. Groups 53 plus, sit, uh, find your group at this location, and then find a table. Uh, note that for the 9 a.m. section, we're only going to use, I think, 1 through 25. So we're basically going to be kind of like in this space along the walls. Um, and, and we'll try that tomorrow. All right, so this is the plan for uh, meeting up. And tomorrow we're going to be headed out for another uh, outdoor activity. Um, it looks like the weather is iffy for tomorrow. So people be uh, please be prepared, more prepared than people were for inclement weather. Um, it looks like the rain will hold off until the afternoon, which is great. Oh, I also want to thank uh, Dave Dovemeyer for helping prepare this this uh, very beautiful map of birds. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the three major components of your grade. That is class participation, um, the video assignments, those are the videos you're going to record, and watching the videos online. So we'll go in that order. Um, class participation is quite simple. So I've, I've added some language to the syllabus, which you can find once I share this with you. Um, there are very simple rules. If you don't come to an activity section, you don't get credit for it, period. There's no making up afterwards. There's no whatever. You also have to check in with your group to receive credit for the activity. So you have to find your group, work with your group, check in with the TA at the end, receive credit for the activity. That's the only way to get credit for the in-class activities. There is no other way. That said, you have four excused absences that you can use throughout the term for any reason. You don't have to tell us about it. Don't show up. Maybe you're at home visiting family. Maybe you're on some sort of vacation. Maybe you had some sort of alarm malfunction. Maybe you're not feeling good that day. It doesn't matter. Um, those four excused absences can be used for any reason. I su suggest that you use them for interesting reasons, like you, you know, went on a fun trip uh, to see the beautiful fall colors, as opposed to boring reasons. Uh, you know, you know, you got were late to class and couldn't find your group, and blah blah blah. So. 
Um, that's the rules for participation. So there are, uh, with the four excuse absences, there are 22 activities. Well, that, so there's 26 activities total, including last week's. Um, so you'll be graded out of 22 uh, for the 30% of your grade that's cross participation. Okay, video assignments. This is also added to the syllabus. The first video assignment is due actually three weeks from Friday. So we want to get you started on this. The goal is quite simple. Take concepts drawn from the course material that you've already seen and re-explain them in a different way. Um, you can work in groups of up to two, but we want to encourage people also to work alone if you prefer to do that. Um, there are guidelines in the syllabus that describe good videos. Uh, good videos are, sh are roughly the right length. They're accurate and clear. They engage the audience. And you have to look at new ways of explaining this material. That's our goal here. Um, so don't just ape or copy what we've already done, you guys can do much better than this. I mean, I'm one guy in a leather jacket in front of a whiteboard. Um, that's not particularly interesting. So, you know, anything that you can do to jazz it up while maintaining the clarity and the accuracy of the presentation will be appreciated. But certainly you're not going to get points if you just sort of copy something that we've already done. Grading for the videos will be done by the TA, so we're, you're going to submit the videos by uploading them to YouTube and sharing a link with us. Um, we'll also have you add them to your quote-unquote e-portfolio, whatever that is, um, and so that we can meet some sort of UB some seminar requirement. Uh, but the main way you're going to share these with us is by uploading them to YouTube, sharing the link. Uh, a randomly select group, select a group of TAs will uh, watch your video and grade it based on the rubric that's in the syllabus. Uh, and that is how we're going to grade the video assignments. There are three video assignments that are evenly spaced out throughout the semester. The first one is due at the end of September. It's about three weeks from Friday. Exactly three weeks from Friday. Uh, the next one is due, I think, early November, and the third one is due the last week of class. And the first two are kind of the same in terms of their expectations. The third one is a little bit different, so look at the syllabus to find out more. Okay. Um, last but not least, well, last in terms of grade components. Um, the website is up. Uh, we have a new website that is going to guide you and steer you through the week's videos. Now, this week's videos are fantastic. I really liked doing these. They were a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoy them. Um, now, before I do a little demo, uh, because I am going to be grandpa here and demo the website, which is obviously super exciting for people like you. Um, so just let me point out something simple, which is that you have to watch the videos in order and watch all of them. Um, if you skip around, it will be difficult to get credit for watching the video and you'll get irritated. So at least the first time you watch the video, watch it through, start to finish, don't skip around. Um, and once you've seen the video and you get credit for seeing the video, you can return to it to review. Um, you also want to pace yourself. So the website is going to force you to watch the videos in order. And each group of videos will have a deadline. The deadlines will be up on the website. For now, I'm just going to tell you what the first deadline is. Um, but if you start to fall behind, it's going to be really hard to catch up. So this is not a class where you can just sort of wait until the day before the exams, since there aren't any exams, um, and try to read the entire textbook or something like that. You have to pace yourself. If you don't uh, watch one week's videos, then the next week, to get credit for the next week's videos, you're not only going to have to watch that week's videos, but you're going to have to watch the previous week, and maybe the previous week, and the previous week. So it's going to start to add up. Um, we're recording about 60 to 90 minutes of video per week. We're trying to keep it punchy. We're trying to keep it exciting. Um, this is not a huge amount of content. And unlike a textbook, which I typically find pretty boring, you know how long it's going to take to watch these. So if it's 60 minutes of video, you might need to budget, you know, 70 or 80 minutes to make sure you have time to think about things and review stuff that you might not have understood or whatever, right? But it's unlike a textbook where it can potentially take an unlimited amount of time. Um, eventually, we're going to add the video deadlines to the website, but the first set of videos are due on Friday at noon. Um, and this is a really good week, so we hope you enjoy these. Okay, finally, fun stuff. So tomorrow, uh, Wednesday night at 6 p.m. in Davis 101, we're going to screen a movie called Lo and Behold by Werner Herzog. This is, in theory, a movie about the uh, internet. Let me see if I can Google it properly. There it is. Reveries of the Connected World. Um, this is a neat film. Um, I think it's thought-provoking. I think it's interesting. Um, it, it sort of has a, a take on the internet that's if a little bit fragmented, uh, fairly interesting from our perspective. Uh, it's not particularly technical, but I think you'll enjoy it. And I think it'll get you thinking about some of the themes that we want to talk about this semester. One important thing to point out is that Davis 101 cannot fit our entire class, or even half of it. 
So if you want to see, please come early. If there's overwhelming interest, like if there are people swarming outside, we'll maybe try to do this again. Um, but, you know, please come early if you want to see. Finally, uh, equally important is that the ACM, uh, our chapter, student chapter of the Association for Computing and Machining, will be there. They'll have some representatives there, so they, they may some, say some few... Or the, they may say a few words beforehand, uh, tell you a little bit about the ACM. The ACM is super interesting. They're doing great stuff on campus. Um, they sponsor a lot of interesting events, hackathons, and other types of things. So it's a really great organization to get interested in, uh, to get involved in if you're interested in, in computer science or computer engineering or whatever. Um, okay, that's it. Um, I'm going to do a quick demo of the website. So here's how this works. If you go to the website, there I am again, um, spewing nonsense. Uh, I'm going to log in. Uh, so this is the Osteo login box. You're going to get a um, you're going to get an email from us with um, with some instructions about how to create. Um, sorry, I need to think while I'm typing this in. Ah, okay. You're going to get an email from us with some instructions about how to create. Uh, an account. Uh, the account will be created with a random password to start with, but then you can create a, uh, you can reset that password and log in. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Um, and now here I am. So this is my home screen. This is showing me the videos I still need to watch. You'll notice that I've just sort of automatically given you credit for all of the first week videos about sort of introduction to the internet and stuff like that. So if you go to learn, this will show you the videos that you have to watch. Um, if I click on one of these, now I can only click on the one that's next on my queue. So this is an introduction to the physical internet. There's some fantastic videos this week. Um, we really sort of delve deep into the bowels of UB's uh, internet infrastructure and look at some really neat stuff with some help from some very cool people on campus, fiber optic cable, which turns out to be super, super interesting. All right, so here's how this works. So you click on one of these. Um, so when we start talking about the actual physical infrastructure of the internet. This because I don't want to hear myself talk. I think I'm actually a lot more interesting to listen to when the sound is off. So don't don't do that. Obviously, you need to you need to listen. Um, watch the video. Uh, what will happen is once this video gets to the end, this link right here, which is currently disabled, will become enabled. And then um, once that happens, you can move on to the next video. If I go back here, what I can see is that this video is still marked as, as something I need to watch. Um, and every time you sort of move away from the video and come back, you sort of lose credit for the parts that you've only seen. So if I let this play for another couple of minutes, what would happen is this uh, this link would become active. I can click on it, and then what would happen is that I would move on to the next video, which is about to secure a cable, and this is how things go. Um, so please don't, be, you know, this is designed to help you learn. We'll be adding features to it over time. For now, this is, what, this is how it works. Um, if you have any problems with the website or any sort of bug reports, um, please report them to us or ask a TA. Um, ideally, uh, the best way to uh, report problems with the website, like I've done uh, right here, is to go to our GitHub page and file an issue on the class builder and sort of class uh, the website infrastructure. So this is all the code is open source. Um, you can see what we're doing here. If you want to see our library for you know determining whether or not to watch the videos, it's all here. Um, anyway, so, so this, is, this is how this works. Right, so there's the exciting, ah, grandpa, uh, sort of uh, website demo, um, which I'm sorry, I just suggested. All right, so that's it for today. Uh, looking forward to seeing you tomorrow in class. Hopefully, we'll see a bunch of you guys tomorrow at the info session. Um, if you have any questions, please talk to the EPA. Probably the best thing to do. Come to my office hours. Come to the office hours for other members of the course staff. Uh, let me pull up the, uh, the syllabus for you. See, we've got a calendar right there. Yeah, so this is the this is the class calendar that says everything on it, including our movie nights and stuff for sort of the global class. And then we also have calendars in the sections. Awesome. So we will see you guys uh, tomorrow. Have a great night.